what's going on guys consider back again on another MLB the show 19 diamond dynasty video and today we have some pretty interesting news that I did want to go ahead and cover this video should probably be on the shorter side as this is quite a short topic but it is something that I did want to go ahead and alert you guys pretty much you guys know we got set six headliners on Monday which is kind of interesting you know usually we get those on Friday but we actually got them on Monday this time and um, we got a Burt Bly 11 right there and you might just think okay Burt Bly 11 what's so interesting about this car besides the fact that in all the MLB shows it is finally usable it's that when this card first released it actually did not have the right signature on it it had Rock Carew signature meaning that they pretty much leaked a Rod Carew signature card um so I think we could have guessed that we would have gotten one eventually because if they're giving guys like Adam Jones a signature card I think Rod Carew was definitely deserving of a signature but as you guys can clearly see on the picture and shout out to kpritz21 on Twitter he is the one that originally did discover this or the first one that at least I saw on Twitter here's the tweet right here it looks like we're getting a Rod Carew signature series at some point because that is not Burt Bly 11 signature and and then he tweeted MLB the show tips MLB the show 124 likes at the time I screen cap that so shout out to you man and um, then also you guys can see the comparison right here that is a signed Rod Carew baseball and then Rod Carew's or um, Burt Blylevin's autograph on the card obviously you guys can see now they have since changed it but when this card first released and I believe for like the first day or two it was Rod Carew signature so that is really interesting that pretty much means once again that we are going to get a signature Rod Carew. Um, so that is something that I did want to go ahead and discuss. Um, briefly, what his stats might look like. You guys pretty much know what a Rod Carew card looks like. Usually, they have good defense, pretty good speed. I'll look at, I think he has like an 83 overall for comparison. Um, yes, I know he does for the Twins, I do believe. Rod Carew. We're just going to look at his 83, compare what it might look like. He's probably not going to have 89 speed because his prime card would be a little bit later so I would imagine like high 70 speed he would have decent defense maybe a little bit better close to 80 fielding 80 reaction his power you guys know his power it's never really too substantial maybe maxing out at like 50s maybe 55 per side but his contact should be over the 99 threshold for sure versus both um probably close to 125 versus right handers and then he's gonna have 99 plus vision as well as a lefty bat of course last year i tried this card out quite a bit but it was really hard to use him you guys know just how the gameplay worked last year it was a lot harder to use contact guys however this year especially contact guys with high speed they do seem to work a lot better um so that is a card i would be interested in trying obviously we have no earthly idea when this card is going to come out it is only up to our imagination but because they did mistakenly put um rod cruz which it, it makes sense Burt bly 11 it's a twin signature i can only imagine rod cruz card is going to be with the twins because i can't see him having a signature with the angels um but that is cool so it's an honest mistake i get why they did it they're both minnesota twins but the signatures don't really look that alike so clearly they made a mistake luckily they did go ahead and fix it though um in order to extend this video and not have it be literally three minutes i'm gonna talk about a few more things that did go down one of them being on twitter mlb the show did tweet um which version of the kutch 22 Aaron mccutcheon do you start your squad with the phillies version live series or mvp andrew mccutcheon let me know down below in the comment section which one of you guys are gonna pick but it's interesting what I get. But it's interesting, once again, you guys can see he does have the dreads in this picture. And the fact that they tweeted it pretty recently would make me think that maybe we are going to get a flashback. Pirates Andrew McCutcheon in the game pretty soon. I do want to also specify, I talked about this in a recent video. I believe when I did my Adam Jones debut, um, that set seven headliners are going to be dropping on Friday. This is going to be a bit shorter of a set. Obviously, they had to do something a little bit different, you know, once we had those player of the month packs. So they decided to reset six on Monday. Gonna extend through, I believe, fi Friday, normal content update time. And then we are going to receive set seven seven featuring two brand new um headliners so that is interesting i really like that we have gotten new headliners every single week they've been super consistent with that another shout out to mlb the show honestly i think the content is really really good this year and i just want to bring up one more point because this video is still pretty short i've seen a lot of people complain
trending on Twitter that we gotten like a signature series Adam Jones. Why on earth would somebody complain about getting more content? Like that that theory that just does not make any sense to me. Why would you complain about getting more cards, getting more content? Yes, you can make the debate. How does Adam Jones have a card better than Mike Trout? When if you think about it, Adam Jones never in his life was ever better than Mike Trout. Of course he was not. But think about this, we are going to get a signature series Mike Trout at some point. He's going to be a 99 overall. It's not the big of a deal. It's more content. Why are you upset about it? Like seriously, a big gripe last year was a lack of content. And now they're giving us more content and still somehow people are complaining. Frequent content and good content yet. <sighs> Maybe I just got to get off Twitter. I don't know. But that should do it for this video. Like I said, once again, on the shorter side, but I did want to go ahead and alert you guys about that signature Rod Carew leak. Um, I don't know when we're going to expect him, but he is going to be in the game signature series Rod Carew at some point in MLB The Show 19. I'm excited for, you know, those kind of cards are really what I like to use. And um, he should be a pretty good second baseman. You know, second base is always a weak position, so it should be an interesting card to look at. Um, let me know down below in the comment section any more possible leaks that you guys might have seen. Scene. I know like they get wild so just let me know down below in the comment section if I'm missing something if there's something else that they possibly showed us a little bit in advance let me know down below there but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like down below hope you guys are great today there it goes out of you love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait earth is a prison I need a great escape you know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory.